Hey coaches, Coach Simpson. Appreciate you checking out my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out this channel, there's a lot of other videos available. Appreciate if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to scroll around and find any information you want or leave a comment on this and I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. Today I'm going to talk about pod work, which is something that we have done. We, we didn't reinvent the wheel, we just named it a little bit different and organized it a little bit different to make it a little more efficient. You know, anything that I do or any coach does, we've taken from those before us. But this has been something that has really benefited our practices. So I'm going to talk about three different examples of what we call pods and what the meaning of pod is to me. If you want more information on the specific play or the defensive look what I'm going to talk about, I've got all that stuff available and even videos available. You know, Coach Gould and I were blessed to go to Spencerville and do a full install. And we've got all that video uploaded uh, where if you want to watch us actually go through this and the film of what that looks like, that's available on my website, fbcoachsimpson.com. If you're a member, it's already to you for free. You got it on there. So if you're interested in more information, that's there. We're talking about buck pod today, and then I'm going to get into other pods in the next couple videos. What a pod simply means to us is we're going to work a skill for a concept we're going to do a lot. So, you know, buck is a big play for us, but we also run what we call belly. Other people may call it power or iso or gut or whatever it is. We also run counter, uh, which is a, uh, kind of a lot of moving parts are going on to this. I'm going to get into that in, a, in another video. Uh, but we're going to start sectioning off our players based off of skills they need to do before we bring them together. So the way we teach our players is we go whole, we teach them the overview of what we're trying to accomplish. So we're going to use Buck as an example. We would walk our kids out, explain what Buck looks like, what we're trying to accomplish. And by the way, this video is available on the website in the blog section for free, where we actually spend about eight minutes walking this new group through Buck. So we're going to explain it as a whole, and then we're going to break it apart and teach the skills an individual. So we're going to teach how to down block to all our linemen, we're going to teach how to run the ball with all our running backs, and then we're going to go into what we call pods, which is what we're talking about today. We're going to take our kids and we're going to section them off into groups that need to work together to make this concept successful to us. So for example, for Buck, we have one, two, three, four different groupings. I'm sorry, I also didn't put my Y and B. We have five different groupings. Now, I'm blessed to have five coaches. You may not have that, so you may have to kind of shrink this or combine groups. I think in our install in Spencerville, we did this with two coaches, and then the next day we came back and did it with all five coaches on staff. Obviously, the more you have, the more individual you're going to be able to accomplish. So in a perfect world, here's how we would break this apart. Most of y'all have already seen my hurdle drill. It's on this YouTube video somewhere, I'm sure, and a channel somewhere if you want to look for it. Basically, we're going to take our guards. The focal point of this play to work is not that everyone else is not important, but the skill is different for everybody. It's really our guards working pull kick, pull uh, wrap. Okay? We also want to pod them up with our quarterback and with our running back. So that's going to kind of take center stage in our pods. We do this with those oversized hurdles or shoots, whatever you call them. We also have a little towel drill where we'll hang the towel on the guards uh, out of his uh, shorts. So our running back has to really focus on what he's trying to accomplish to run buck. In this group, we usually will put our primary offensive coaches. So this may be me and an offensive line coach with me. Because we got to make sure this runs well. To, it's kind of the heart of the, of the concept. So we're working pull kicks, pull wraps. Our running back is working on his tracks. We can do this with the shoots. We can do this with cones. We can do this with coaches. And then eventually we start to do it with uh, players that are there and make them read and do different things. We're working essentially pull kick, pull wrap, the back backfield action for Buck. And then I am giving our quarterback his RPOs for a run, run look. So I'm giving him, that could be lined up here, as a coach, I'm not like you. Could be here, could be here. Whatever guy we're trying to read, that's where I'm putting my quarterback's eyes. So we're working this with our guards, our running backs, and our quarterbacks to make sure we get good action. Over and it's good. I've got them in different areas of the field. You can obviously adapt to your situation. 
we would have our strong tackle and our center working with one of our offensive line coaches, okay, and they're working on down blocks. Now, if you watched our Facebook group I'm on or the Twitter groups, uh, Twitter uh, videos I've been putting out, we also work, we work basically the base blocks are going to do. So base world, we're going to work on down block. We can work first level down block, we can work second level down block, we're going to work on down blocking. Then we're going to give them real scenarios they may see if we're trying to run buck sweep. So for example, one of the hardest blocks man buck sweep is when you got a slanting nose or a shade one to the strong side because the guard's leaving. So we're going to work that block where we're getting vertical push, we're getting the knock, and then we're working second level. We're going to work all those scenarios with these guys anytime we go pods. We just say pods. They know they go together, they might be working down block, they might be working on one technique, they might be working second level down block. They're going to work a block these two guys would usually use if we're running buck. All right. Our quick tackle is our RPO guy, so if we have enough coaches, he goes with his own coach. If we don't, a lot of times he will end up either there if we're working a skill, or here if we're working a concept, we're working like a steal or we're reading, we may bring him with us. If we're working screens, he may go with our receivers. In a perfect world, he would go to his own coach. This coach could be your third offensive guy. This could be a running back coach. This could be whoever, because we're going to teach this kid a few skills. We're either going to teach him how to cut block, which we will work on buck. It's going away. We'll teach him how to scoop second level. We'll teach him how to gap protect. Or, in our offense, he runs a lot of outside release blocks. So he is kind of our RPO guy on that back side of Buck. He's going to work with his own coach, and we're going to rotate the skills day by day. So he's getting a lot of individual work. Our Ys and Bs are working down block, but they kind of work as a unit. So if you were short coaches, you could bring your Ys and Bs here and work them together if you only had maybe two or three coaches to work with. We have found that it's better to put them together and work on all those situations people give you to stop Buck. Well, we have a nine technique. How are we going to handle a nine technique? So we got a guy here. Are we going to bypass? Are we going to work down? What are we going to do? Are we going to make sure we make run our reads? What if we have a six? How are we going to handle that? What if we have a seven? So we're going to go through all the different flavors of down block they might see if we are running buck during this pod period. A lot of times they're with the same coach they are always with. Finally, our receivers are over here. Now, we run a few RPOs where they're attached with our quarterbacks, so we can bring them here to this live pod where we're going to be working maybe a fast screen or a bubble or working the peak concept where they're attached into the RPO, or this is bonus time for them to go with their coach and they can work on screen game, quick game, whatever they're struggling with to work on. But it's a way we break up our group. We go whole, show them the picture, individual, pod, and then we come back together and we're going to make sure we run buck at some point inside of our team so that all this stuff makes sure it blends together. And we'll work the RPOs, our quick tackle. We'll work our adjustments, our strong tackle and center so they're ready for any front they might see. We'll work our Y and B on any front they might see. And then our receivers are generally working whatever skill they need that we might attach with buck. That's our basic overview of pod. Again, if you want to see Buck Sweep in depth, you can go to my website, fbcoachsimpson.com. There's plenty of courses on there, PowerPoints on there, game film, whatever you might want to see. If you want to see an actual install, I've got it on my website as well. Just go to fbcoachsimpson.com. All that stuff's going to be in the download section. If you want to see us talking through the play for free, it's in the blog section on my website, or you can always just scroll through this channel and maybe find what you see. If you've got questions, I know this is something that a lot of people are trying to adopt to make their practices more efficient. Please feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment in this video, or you can email me, fbcoachsimpson at gmail.com. Appreciate it.